open Blender, delete the cube, press Shift A, Mesh, Math Function, and select Regular Solid. Let's open the small window on the lower left corner. This will create a tetrahedron, or in English, a pyramid. To change the source or the shape that you want to deform, you click this drop box and select it. Before you play with the vertex and edge truncation values, if you check dual, you will get a different shape, where the vertices of one correspond to the faces of the other, and the edges between pairs of vertices of one correspond to the edges between pairs of faces of the other. So technically a d20 die and a d12 die are duals of each other. The keep size checkbox usually makes the result slightly bigger. If you want a specific shape with long and funny names, select the preset stat, changing certain values will change the preset's active option as custom. To save the custom shape you have just created, click the plus button sign and give it a name. This preset will be saved inside Blender's data. Now for the truncation values and the snub, let's pull another viewport. Change the viewport shading to wireframe so we can see how the vertices and edges change. You can play with this to create an interesting and complex shape. After you're done with the shape, you can start deforming the vertices in edit mode, like extruding or adding loop cuts to certain parts. This kind of geometry can be known as complex shapes, polyhedra, polyhedrons, or dual polyhedrons, and many other names. This is a complex topic in terms of mathematics, geometry, and topology. I'm not an expert in that field, so this could be useful to people who want to create a 3D representation of these shapes. Unfortunately, animations with these values are not possible since you are creating a single mesh with these parameters. I hope Blender allows this kind of thing in the future.